An event next month is all about collecting much needed items for dogs and their trainers during what's known as International Assistance Dog Awareness Week. Here to tell us more about the Stock Up for Paws event is Valerie Lego with Paws for the Cause. Great to see you. Oh, great to see you too. Thank you so much for having us. Of course. What kind of items are you looking for during this Stock Up event? So these are going to be items that are going to be used for uh, dogs in training. Um, as you know, it takes a lot to raise a service dog for Paws with a Cause, and our Paws go to clients for free. So we rely on the generous donations of people to be able to continue our training. So we're looking for dog toys, we're looking for dog biscuits, we're looking for blankets, and uh, lots and lots of dog food, as you can see. Our always go home with um, with some sort of uh, dog food but then also those that dog food is being used for um, the training dogs that are there after they uh, are surrendered by their puppy raisers and we are also in need of some things you might not think about like gift cards to go to local restaurants because part of their training if they have a client that does frequently go out to eat or frequently uses the bus we need um, gift cards to be able to take them to the restaurant and it's not about a free meal it's about the fact that in order to be ADA compliant they have to be videotaped as a dog sitting nicely under the table um, as part of that certification so we need to be able to go to all of these different types of um, places and we also though for those who might not be able to drop something off at uh, our national headquarters in Wayland we also have uh, an Amazon wish list that can be found on our website and that is everything from peanut butter to treats to all of the things that I've um, mentioned and more because puppies have a big wish list, Michelle. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they sure do, of course. Okay, so that is really easy for people to donate. And we know, of course, yeah. West Michigan is so generous. And especially when we see those pictures and we know the important work that these dogs do. Yes, certainly. I mean, Paws for the Cause custom trains each one of their dogs, which is what really makes uh, the Paws for the Cause organization so unique. So oftentimes that might mean making a special tool for someone who might have to stand up but doesn't have use of maybe one or both of their hands. Um, and so all of these types of things that go into making the dogs customized for them takes a lot of training. And so it's about two and a half to three years before a dog is fully trained and certified to be able to Live with their client and help change their life and so while that is happening of course we want to make sure that they get lots of love and playtime and have the toys that they need so they can also be socialized and happy dogs we couldn't do it of course without um puppy raisers and you know michelle i had to get in my little plug for anybody who might be willing to be a foster puppy raiser like i was with mine yeah uh, CJ and Ray, we are always looking for uh, foster puppy racers. I just saw some really cute golden puppies that need some homes. Um, oh my goodness, they're big fluff balls right now. They're just <laughs> waiting for somebody to come and help raise. And this is International Assistance Dog Week. Why is it so important to have a week like this to raise this kind of awareness? It's important to remind people all of the effort that goes into providing these dogs for clients, all of the training, all of the foster, foster puppy raisers, all of the intuitiveness that goes into making sure these dogs are the best they can be for their clients and just recognizing the work that goes into it and also recognizing those who support uh, the assistance dogs, those who allow the assistance dogs to come into their stores and their restaurants. Um, it's such a big deal to be able to say thank you to those people, but then also to be able to just say thank you to the trainers and the raisers and the organizations that really do help change the lives of others. Yeah, absolutely. All right, great. Well, great information. Really appreciate it. As of course, as always, great to see you. Great to see you too, Michelle. Thanks, Val.